Travis was at that Jack White show. What a douche Jack White is. And uh, yeah, Sam, you're a big yeah. fucking Jack what a White fan. Douchebag. You got your, his uh, name tattooed on your arm. Yeah, he's a dick. He was on Saturday. Why? What a dick. To, I well, don't know. here's the story. I guess he played where Radio City. Yeah. Yes. And uh, he played for maybe 45 minutes, and and he was in a bad mood or something. Walked off uh, the stage, and and there was almost a riot there. People were fucking pissed. Yeah, he didn't like the sound. And they were trying to um. They were trying to like give back their merchandise and everything that they bought. Instead of acknowledging from the stage, like, hey, look, the sound is off. I apologize. It's not our fault. It's this shitty venue. Is that, that the excuse that, he's that's, given? That's a bullshit excuse. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, he has yeah. to come up the with sound, something. The now. sound was fine. To save face. Yeah, you, you can't say I was, I was upset at some guy in the crowd or I don't think the crowd was really into me, so I left. So what happened, uh, yes. Travis? Okay. You were there. Yeah, I mean. Sold out show, sold obviously. Out, sold out show. You well, know. How close were you? Uh, I was I was on the floor, maybe about thirty rows back. Yeah, you nice. know, Radio City goes goes yeah, pretty far back. Yeah, you had a nice back. seat, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they they were decent seats. Um, so yeah, you know, show show starts, everything's fine. Who who warmed up? I don't know. We no did, we didn't go to the no um, one. Okay. the Tetley Five. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So everyone's uh, everyone's excited. Was... Jack White hits the stage. Everyone's and then what excited. Happens? Jack White hits the stage. Plays plays a couple songs. Then then he says something like. Uh, like Jesus Christ, what is this? An NPR convention? You know, kind of commenting that the crowd's not as into it as he would like. Yeah. Oh, what songs boy. did he play before that? Uh, he played he played a couple White Stripes songs, but l like not Dead not Leaves. Popular. He played Dead Leaves later on. Oh, it was it was a retooled kind of like piano version, um, which is good. That's all right. Every uh, once in a while, but fuck, yeah, you know, just he play he the songs how I know he plays some White Stripes songs. Exactly. He plays some Dead Weather songs. He plays some Rack and Tours songs. He plays some White Stripes songs. So I guess he wasn't really uh, feeling the crowd. The crowd was okay. The crowd wasn't great, but yeah, they weren't it like. Sure, but was yeah. his performance lacking? It's I've seen him before. It's not as good as I had seen him. Ooh. What's the problem? I don't know. I mean, but you know, Sam saw him a couple months ago. He puts yeah. on a hell of a show. Radio City is a weird venue for him. Because like he doesn't do shows where people can sit down in the front row, but nobody's sitting. I mean, maybe people were sitting in the front row, but like nobody was sitting where I was. Like, yeah, everybody but it's always up. weird you when you have those chairs time. around because you can't move. Yeah, yeah. Like I hate going to see any rock show at like. I get Radio that City, everyone's standing, but... but you're still confined to your seat area, sure. and that's a little weird for a rock vibe. I think. So yeah, he made that like you know I'm a little annoyed. Like you know what is this an NPR convention yeah. comment? And then like then a couple songs later, like afterward, right before he played Dead Leaves. Uh, he he sat down at the piano. He's like, "Oh, dude, 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 quiet down, everyone, quiet down." Jeez, you're too loud, you know. So you know, he's there, a fucking there, baby. Another sarcastic comment. Just a, uh, maybe the crowd did stink too. That happens, but you know what? You got to finish the gig. You totally. You don't do fucking yeah. forty five minutes. Do an hour and twenty. Don't do two hours. Do an hour and twenty. But you can't do forty five and walk. We off. interviewed him once. He's. Uh, I wouldn't say. He, he's I wouldn't a, say he's, he's a, a dick. Guy. He was really strange. A strange yeah. guy. Yeah. He, he's a weird a strange rock star vibe. guy. I know Sam loves him, but you know. No, I, I love his music too. So, so do I. That I really that's why do. We, we all have tats of him on on <laughs> our arm. We so sure. you know we all. It's that's obvious right. we adore was, the man. But I was happy I wasn't at the show because oh, he's amazing live. Except I guess for that one night, and he was awesome when I met him. Like he wasn't. He was. Nice and friendly and Cordial. happy. And Would you have been mad and just carved your fucking tat out of your arm like Maximus did in Gladiator? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Apparently, you played a great set last night at Radio City. So now, how how did it uh, go down? Uh, so then he so so he plays Ball and Biscuit, uh, which White Stripes. Nice, yep. Um, says something to the crowd. I couldn't understand what 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 he was saying because it was it was very loud. Uh, and then he left, and everybody thought, all right, well, encore is coming in a, in a couple minutes, you know, and be long. He should yeah. be forced to give that money back. People should demand that money back. If he did a way shorter show than the night before, they should clamor he played, for the money back. He played 12 songs. He's he's averaging about 20 songs on the tour. Yeah, so he so fucked he, the he fans. He barely played half. Yeah, he's he's averaging about and 12 two hours, songs, or... man. Those a lot, a lot of songs are short. That that can't be more than 40 minutes. It was a 50 55 minute show. It was. Yeah. Um you really? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fucking uh, short. Yeah, it, you know Do who an plays, extra half hour, you're done. You know who mm -hmm. plays 50 minute shows? Bands that just came out and have one Katie album. Katy Perry? You know. Did I tell you how long Bruce Springsteen plays <laughs> as his shows? Yeah, that's 12 fucking uh, Jack White shows. <laughs> Four hours. Yeah, yeah exactly. Jack Roland. White's got close to 10 albums to draw from. Yeah. He also Which does he does. Dead Weather songs, and he also does Raconteur songs. I saw, the, um, I saw your picture that you uh, Instagrammed. That was a great picture. Which was, uh, well, not quite as great as my good friend. 
Carly Folks, who was she also there. She was there as well, that's and right. And she had uh, the same sh- the same view, <laughs> only a fuck of a lot closer. Yeah, right? she was well, like she, in like the She's fifth row. Uh, my good friend, the T-Mobile girl. Oh, the T-Mobile girl. She's yes. single? She's on Instagram. Yeah, she's got a boyfriend. You guys, I'm waiting that one out. That, was, that, was, that picture's <laughs> after the show. You guys talk a little bit here and there? Oh, we've been known to, uh, you know, a little chit-chat, that's for go. sure. <laughs> so when he didn't come back, how did the crowd react? So, like, well, how did it build uh, to the point where I heard rumors people were going to riot? Uh, you know, you, you kind of felt that, like, there was going to be a little, you know, hipster riot there. Mm. Um, about five minutes after, you know, nothing was happening, the, the house lights came up and music started playing. And I've been to enough concerts where I know that's the show. That's it. Like, that's it. He's not coming back out. And But they didn't draw the curtains down, so everybody just stayed. Everybody kept cheering. Everybody kept, you know, trying to get him back out there. About 20 minutes after the uh, after he left the stage, they finally dropped that curtain. Oh, shit. They're probably asking him backstage, are you going to go on again? That, that's, oh, what that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you know yeah. someone was talking, like, look, man, come on. Gotta go we got to do it. Nope. Nope. Yeah. nope. Yep. I don't like the crowd. Nope. Nope. Fucking cunty rock star. Yeah, because if, cunt. If, if if he was like, you know, oh, the, the sound sucks, we're not going to play anymore, then Ugh. they would have said, show's over, guys, go home. They wouldn't have waited 20 minutes to drop that curtain. And then 10 minutes after they dropped that curtain, somebody finally had to come out on stage, either a security guy or, or one of his people, and say, the show's over, go home. All the doors, you know, the, the doors on the side of Radio yeah. City open up directly onto the street. Yeah. Those doors open up, and it was just booze, Good. fuck Jack White, They're right. fuck him. People going to the merch table and returning their merchandise. Did they get their money back? Yes. They did? Yeah, so, some people tweeted... Pictures of of their refunded receipts. Nice. Of they, did. they get the money back for the show. No, no for for their fucking merchandise. Cunty yeah, rock star. Radio, Radio F- Fifty minutes at Radio City on a back. Saturday night. That yeah. really fucking bugs so me. So what time do you leave? Uh, well, he came on at nine twelve, and we probably left it. <laughs> Your Saturday, Saturday night is done around ten ten fifteen. Yeah, well, well, we left at like oh, ten <laughs> ten forty five, I guess, because we stayed until. Yeah, you were hanging, uh, hoping for something. Yeah, because uh, hey, I'm with Jimmy. What a dick! What a twat. absolutely, yeah. People he, fucking he, work he hard, fucking, and you know, it sucked. Pay to see, and you. you Pull yeah, these weren't shit. cheap tickets. These went from like fifty to like one hundred and fifty dollars. That's what's so annoying is the fact that people have to work really hard for that money. And if you have a bad show, you have a bad show. But don't bail out like a little faggot forty five minutes into it. Suck it up. I'm gonna go home. Gotta suck it up. Fucking jizz bag. Give all that money back. In retrospect, I'm really glad I was there because it was an experience. It was a happening. It was a happening. And now I I, I told Danny in the back, I said, I didn't have an answer for what's the worst show you've ever been to. Uh, and now I definitely have one. Whoa. Wow. You know? Like, Damn, and it's got to be fucking Sam's hero. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I, I like Jack White, too. I hate, Not fu- anymore. I hate fucking <laughs> Not rock stars that don't treat their, or anyone that doesn't yeah. treat their fans. It's a very right Axl like Rose. Uh, yeah, another move. jerk off yeah. move. My worst show, Neil Young, when he didn't. Play oh yeah, you hits. didn't like that. Oh my <laughs> god, that annoyed me. Just listening to you tell the story, I was fucking fuming. I laughed so hard. The guy, see Neil Young, he but, fucking pulls that shit. But I, I was so entertained by the guy behind me that just his excitement slowly, slowly <laughs> went away when he realized. The chances of hearing a, a hit were fading quickly, <laughs> and he started going, this is bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> and then he was the guy, if you know the story, that finally stood up and said, hey, Neil, how about one for us? How about one for us? <laughs> I'll never forget What a that. great line, though, to throw out there. This guy was going to rip his seat out. He was so mad. But he was the guy, he was the uber Neil Young fan that was sitting right behind me. Oh, he was he just all wanted to get Cinnamon Girl and fucking... Right. And he, he gets these obscure, brand new fucking... I forgot what it was. Noodling now. for his own pleasure, shit up on stage. But, I hate when they do that. But my dumb point, we didn't know going into it that was the show. Yeah. I mean, if you're a fan of a band and they go, look, okay, we're going to do something different. Let's say it's Springsteen. We're going to play all B, uh, B tracks. Are you cool with that? If you yeah, are. Yeah, totally. I know I'm on anyway. Uh, I'll be, uh, but, be, but, but, be silly. But tell us ahead of time. <laughs> so you go, you know what? Yeah, I would go see all B tracks, B sides, whatever. You know? Yeah. But when you're when you're fucking blindsided like that, <laughs> yeah, and then you said the guy was so mad. <laughs> hey, Neil, how about what for us? No shit. I heard he uh, pulled the same thing in Central Park this weekend. It was a of big course he did. Rock oh, show. Are you kidding me? I don't yeah, know. I could have gone to that. That was Saturday night. I had tickets for that. A couple people oh, tweeted me and said, "Ticket Maven." Well, they were free. A couple oh. people <laughs> tweeted me. They said they were above average uh, Neil Young fans, meaning they know you know a, a wide variety of songs by him. 
And he supposedly only played about two that most people would know. I heard the Foo Fighters were very good. You have tickets for them? No, at Central Park. They, they, played, they played at Central Park. <laughs> that annoys me so, I was so upset. fucking much. I've just I've never seen anything like it. Like I was I was standing there and and these two girls behind us, they're like, Do you think he's coming back out? I'm like, there's no possible way. And they said she's gonna up, wait. Creepy guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't like your beard. <laughs> You're weird. Like there's no possible way he's gonna wait forty five minutes and then come back out after after oh. nearly, you know, the entire crowd turning against him. What them. do you know, Doctor Gay? Uh, that's, that's what they said. My yeah. uh my second worst concert, I'm being reminded because Brian on Long Island had the same experience. And I like the guy, but Bob Dylan fucking oh, no. blows in oh, concert. No. Doesn't acknowledge the crowd, looks down no. the entire fucking time. No. People are cheering. He doesn't even acknowledge that you're fucking cheering for him. And then he changes the arrangement of every fucking song to the point you don't know what the song is anymore. And then, of course, the He's an artist. You, you don't understand his lyrics because he mumbles. Lauren, it was horrendous. Lauren and Hill I know that's that going to piss off a lot of Bob oh. Dylan people today, but... I I hate well, he's, he's just like Neil. He's, he's I like hated Neil the Bob Dylan show. That yeah. was in Rochester. Like fuck, that could be twenty years ago at this point. Uh, Brian, go ahead. Yeah, my friend got tickets. I really don't care for Bob Dylan too much, but he is Bob Dylan, and it was at Jones Beach, which is an awesome theater. Perfect night, and we go there, and I'm like, what? What do I expect? He's Bob Dylan. He did not play one song that anybody knows. He plays like I don't know if it's new hits or just like. Uh, songs, and then I didn't even understand what he was talking about because you can't understand his lyrics. I remember uh, How about some. How does it feel? <laughs> How about I, some of that? Well, I remember ten minutes into like a Rolling Stone. I went, oh, this is like a Rolling oh. Stone. <laughs> hey, now it's hey, <laughs> hey, 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 what the fuck? He stinks. F.I.H. songs, we were saying, if the next one, we don't know, we're leaving. And we did that like nine times. Because he stopped doing the same respectful, and then we were just like, we're out of here, this fucking bloat. And then how about the one no one even knows it's him? Lee, 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 lee. Lee across my big brass beard. It's like, wait, that's Dylan? For the longest, thank you, sir. For the longest time, I I was with you. I had no idea that was a Dylan fan. Be with you, man, Dylan song. Do you think more people in me and Sam's generation know Bob Dylan for Bob Dylan or for Soy Bomb? Soy bomb. <laughs> Good old soy bomb. Soy bomb is a man. Yeah. Soy bomb. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it did suck. Yeah, it's disappointing because I know how good he is live. Supposedly the Foo Fighters broke up too, right? Well, they Dave were playing Girl the Central said, Park concert as well. Yeah, and he said, uh, you know, he said something to the effect of, "This is the last time we're going to play together for a while." So whatever that means, oh, it sounds boy. very non-committal. Yeah, but <laughs> I think they're taking a very extended break. He must be a prick to work with. Dave Girl? Girl? Oh, oh! I thought you meant uh, fucking Jack White. Mm. Yeah, but he must be a prick to work with Jack White. Yeah, that's I what I'm going to work. Yeah. But Dave Grohl, no, a... Dave Grohl seems like Dave Grohl seems guy. awesome. Yeah. When we used to, I'm know sorry, you were talking. Was I wasn't paying us. attention. That's you know, that's not nice. I'm I'm right here. <laughs> oh, what? next to you. Oh, hey, Travis. Hi. What's up? Jack White is a perfectionist, but he's a twat. Oh, I, he's probably a brilliant musician, but he enough of the genius moniker. He's a cunt. If you walk off after 50 minutes and fuck your fans like that, uh, you're a cunt. And you got no respect for the fact they spent that kind of money to come see you. None. That drives me nuts. Ba- if he had a bad show, believe me, I've seen Ozzy when he was not at his best. But he never walked off like a fucking f- cocksucker. Mm-hmm. I've seen his voice shot. Finish the fucking show. Yeah. Finish the fucking show, baby. I saw Courtney Love about ten years ago, Ugh. and her yeah, I know. Sorry. And uh, and she lost her voice the, in the second song, and she played for an hour and a half. I bet, I mean, that... I bet Ozzy tried, and Sharon just like kicked him back onto the stage <laughs> yeah. from side stage. She's got to chase him. No. Yeah, you saw a out. shoe on his ass the entire <laughs> yeah, time, just pushing him back. But out. I mean, any band you want to mention, like just to I, that as a performer, you think I've never had a fucking crowds? And I was like, oh, I didn't love Cincinnati last time I went. I wanted to walk off to eight minutes one of the. Sh- Wow. Can't do it. Gotta go. Fucking use all the Gotta years you've been performing. Put together a decent set, whether it's the crowd or it's you. Sometimes you walk off and you go, the only thing that salvaged that was the fact that I've been doing this for 20 years. Wow. And I know how to fucking, it's like you know how to do smoke and mirrors <laughs> and put together a good show. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like you know how to make it. People uh, go, all right, that was cool. But to walk off after fucking, it, it makes me crazy. I was it telling, does, right? I was telling Travis, it was also very bad timing. Because the same morning that this news breaks of, you know, the fans almost rioting because Jack White walked off, Justin Bieber was in concert that same night, 
and he threw Justin Bieber threw up on the stage because he had like a flu or something. Oh yeah, sure, the flu. And he kept performing. And it's like if Justin Bieber is now out rock starring you. Oh god, <laughs> how's that video by the way? I bro? saw that clip. I don't understand why the Biebs didn't just walk back in where he came out on stage. Like, like he bends over like that. Why doesn't he just walk? Look how long it's taken him to puke. Wow. Uh, I would have fans were scrambling to eat it up. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> you no know, one would have easily. Uh, yeah, because he wanted everyone to notice that he was puking. Yeah. Yeah, he's one of those. Oh, no. Puking's a weird thing, dude. Yeah. That's a fucking horrible. I respect him more, though, for continuing to play. Yeah, that's, that's, a that's hysterical shot of him just bent over like that. <laughs> Puking. Yeah. All right, good for the beeps. better than Jack White. So mm, here's the on that day. Here's the Foo Fighters announcement. Mm -hmm. They've been out a long time. They, what you think they're going to take a year or two off? Yeah, I, I guess. Mean, I, I mean, they could. Why not? Without making a big deal out of it, we don't have any shows after this. This is it, man. We don't have any ones after this. This is the show where we come out and we play as many songs as we can in a short period of time. Cause honestly, I don't know when we're gonna do it again. And this is the perfect place to do it right now, tonight. You know what I mean? What's that about? That was very I think he vague. just wants to take some time off. But that's a little dramatic. At, at the end they of the show. They want people to think they might be breaking up. That was in I, the E-Rock so. category of vagueness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see the show? Uh, yeah, what, did you see the show? Hey. At the end of the show, he said, like, I don't know when we'll, we'll see you soon. Mm. He'll, they'll help. They'll, ah, they'll be back because they're Probably they're up in that so. they're they're up in that category now of like you know one of the biggest rock bands and they're starting to do that whole play three hours long play three and a half hours long sets. You mean they don't walk off after fifty minutes? No, their sets are longer than Dexter's premiere last night. How long was that? What? An hour. Oh, 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 you scared me. Like Dexter was like fourteen minutes. How was no. it? It's great. It was really good. People love. You should Dexter. really watch that show. It no, I should. Sure. I hope he only killed bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get past. That. Uh, no, I can't get past it. <laughs> Travis goes. You have to get. Past I can't. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's a great actor. It's not about the acting. But you got to think that's going to be a twist eventually. We're like, oh fuck! I thought this guy only killed bad guys. It's, it's a great. I show. don't like when a, when a, when a show is so set up for me because the fucking people who designed it went to, to likability 101 school. <laughs> we have to make the character likable. Drives me fucking crazy. I hate when they go for the dramatic death and then, you know, next season they figure out a way out of it. I hate that shit. The cancer show with the fucking uh, father there dropping dead as uh, the cancer woman is, is running the fucking marathon. Oh, the big the C. The oh. big C. And then it turns out, oh, no, he just had a heart attack and he's uh, recovering at home spoiler. now. He's okay. This is a couple uh, years spoiler ago. Spoiler alert. <laughs> But it was so dramatic because you, you're focused on the woman, the woman with the cancer is going to die, and then it turns out, no, he dies. It's lazy and, writing. And that's how they handled it at the end of that season. He's dead. But then they're like, well, all right, we'll just sit on and then make, you know, we'll have him come back. It was just a heart attack. Yeah. It's a fucking commit, man. Go all in. Can we play uh, Dead Leaves? Hmm? That, that's a great sure. song. Yeah. I love it. It is a great Leaves. song. There's so many great songs. Oh, What's our slogan today? It. Uh... I can't even remember. Oh, wait, we we, uh, we feed your need for rock. Yeah. yeah Who gonna, feeds your need for rock? We're going to feed Who feeds E-Rock? <laughs> <laughs> what? We're going to feed your need for rock right now.